Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. So on the whiteboard, let me explain the two types of encryption and the services that can help me do this encryption. So we have two types of encryption. The first type it's called encryption at transit. And the second type of encryption it's called encryption at rest. Let's see the difference between these two services or these two encryption types and what service can I use in each and every one? First of all, encryption at transit. It means I am sending information from point A to point B, and while my information is being sent, I want to protect this information by encrypting this information. So let's see a practical example here. This is my PC, and for example, I am buying something online. How can I pay online? I need to put my credit card information. Now the question, how can the client make sure he is talking to the correct server? How can the client be sure this is the server I'm communicating to is not another one impersonating the personality of the server here. And in order to do this, now when you start the HTTPS protocol, so as we know, HTTP, this is the web traffic unencrypted. HTTPS, this is the web traffic but encrypted. And that's the service I can use to send my encrypted or my confidential information. Now the question, how can this client make sure he is talking to the correct server? And now when they are starting the HTTPS communication, this server needs to provide to this client something called the certificate. Which means you can think about it like this. This is like the server ID. So the server is sending to the client, I am this server, so you can trust me. The question, how can the client trust this certificate? Because the certificate must be signed from something called a certificate authority. So a quick analogy, if you are presenting maybe your driving license as an identifier, people will trust the driving license. Why? Because this has been signed by the Ministry of Interior. Exactly the same analogy here. So now, when the server sends the certificate, the client will look at the CA or the certificate authority who signed this certificate. And then if the client trusts the CA, definitely, he will trust the certificate and he will say, yes, this is the correct server that I am communicating with. So as you can see, in order for me to have HTTPS or encrypted web traffic, the server need to have a certificate. So now the question, how can I have or which service on AWS can help me generate certificates? Here come the service we just explained, which was the ACM or the certificate manager. So that's the service that can help me generate a certificate in order for me to have HTTPS. And that's the first type of encryption. But then the second type of encryption, now this is encryption at rest, which means now the data is not moving. The data is already stored. Maybe if I have S3, or if I have my EBS, or if I have my EFS, if you remember, different type of storage that I can have. What if now I have a file or I have an object that is already stored, it's not moving. Why do I need to always encrypt it? Because if my account got compromised due to any reason, everyone now can access this object and can access the information. That's why, I also want to encrypt the data even if the data is not moving and the data is at rest. And in order for me to have encryption at rest, the service that can create for me these encryption keys to help me encrypt at rest, this service it's called KMS, Key Management Service. So 
Very, very important slide here to understand the different types of encryption that I have, encryption at transit, and this is one of the ways I can do it is through HTTPS and the name of the service, it's called Certificate Manager. And then encryption at rest, the name of the service, it's called KMS. I hope this is 100% clear.